my last video I had a, a viewer make a request at Phoenix 6503 wants to wants to make action to take the GPT response and send it to Google Sheets through make so I'm going to attempt to do that now expanding on the automation that I made from the last video I'm going to redetermine the data structure on this so we're just going to make it listen and then I'm going to go in and modify the previous GPT that I did um, and instead of asking for email and or first name and email address I'm going to change this to the user will make a request please answer this request and then after you have this information after you answer this request pass your response along to the make to the make automation. So we're just changing it from collecting an email address and a name to passing your response along to the automation. Then down here we go in and modify the hook or I'm sorry the uh, the schema and instead of email address and name I'm just going to get rid of name here I'm going to call this response. So for so I called it response and then for description I just said your response to the user's request. Um, so that's how I've modified that. Now I need to update it. And we'll view the GPT. Now it's, it answered the question and it says it's passing it over to make. I'm allowing that. Now it's talking to it. It talked to it. So now that we have, see this was successfully determined. So now that we have the data structure on the make side, I can go to Google Sheets. I'm going to go ahead and update a, uh, update a cell. And then I've created a Google Sheet here. This is a brand new sheet. You just create a new sheet. And then you want the sheet ID, and that's in the URL up here. I'm going to copy that. Go back to make. Paste it into the sheet ID. The sheet name is down here in the tab, sheet 1. So sheet 1. I'm going to go ahead and put it in cell A1, and then the value is the response. So it just passed the response over from the GPT, and that's what we've got there as a field name. So I'm going to run this again. I'm going to go ahead and run once on this. Now it's listening. So now we're going to try this GPT again. I'm going to say, I have a request. Who was the first president of the United States? I'm 
and I'm allowing that to be sent to make. There's the answer. And it talked to to make. So I go to the automation, you can see that it was re, that it was picked up. Here's the answer from the webhook and then if you go to the second step, you can see that the sheet was updated. And now I'm going to the sheet and there it is in cell A1. All right, well, I hope this answers your question. I'm going to have some more videos coming up on uh, some more advanced automations. Um, stay tuned for the next one. If you like this, uh, you know, like and subscribe it, and I'll have some more for you. Thank you.